In this lecture, I'm going to address a question some of you may have at this stage, and that is, should I pay for Canva for work? <laughs> Meaning, is it worth it to pay for the upgrade? I figured the best way to help you answer that question, because I'm not going to answer it for you, would be to show you the major differences between the free and the paid version of Canva. So that's what we will do in this lecture. I personally am a Canva for work user. That means the paid version of Canva. And I've been using the paid version for almost two years now. So I think I have a pretty good understanding of all the major differences. So what I'm going to do is to open both versions in two different windows. So here we have Canva, the free version. And in this window, we have Canva for work, the paid version. Access hundreds of thousands of free elements. The first obvious difference is that Canva for work will let you access and use thousands of free photos and illustrations, 300,000 to be precise at this time as Canva informs us. So this will give you way more choice while creating your design. You can see that here in the free version, if I search for microphone, I will only have a few free options. And all these elements with the little crown on them that say pro will actually become available with Canva for work. So these are actually the 300,000 additional elements you can access if you upgrade. You will also see and feel the difference when you browse the element categories, here under the Elements tab. This is what you will see in the free version, and this is what you will see in Canva for Work. So all these photo categories are now available to you, and each of them has a very decent amount of photo in them. With Canva for Work, you can use all these stock images for free. The second major difference is that you can create and save your own templates. This is a pretty cool feature if you work with a team or let's say if you have a few volunteers that will manage your social media accounts. Canva for Work allows you to save a design as a template, meaning your team doesn't have to start every new design from scratch. This feature will save you and your team a lot of time and will help your content look more consistent. To save a design as a template in Canva for Work is pretty easy. Just open your design, click on the Showing button right here and turn on the option that says publish as template. Don't forget to save changes with the green button here and you're done. You can now find this template under your brand from the main menu by clicking on the templates tab. And there it is. Now all administrators and template designers from your team can access it. So again, this feature could be very useful if you work with a team and if the people in that team don't really have any design skills, but still need to create quality visuals with a consistent branding. The third major difference is that you can create your brand kit. Canva for Work allows you to go much deeper when it comes to creating your visual identity. They call it the brand kit. So in here, you can define your color palette, you can upload your own font, and feature your company's logo and other branded materials. What it does is change the default colors and font directly into Canva's working area. Let me show you. So this is my free Canva account. And as you can see, the colors that show up here are always the same. Now, those are not my brand colors. And same for the fonts. If I create a new text box, it will always select the same three fonts. Like the heading will give me April fat face, the subheading will give me Trochi, and the body text will give me a Remo. Now, if you have Canva for work, you can decide what fonts to set as the default for these three classes of text. Let me show you. I am now in my Canva for work account and here in the brand kit, I can decide which fonts and sizes I want for each text class. As you can see, I already uploaded my own font, set the sizes and everything. Now let's have a look at how this works in the working area. I'll just open a random project and add a new page and add some extra text boxes. All right. As you can see, the text comes with the format I set in my brand kit. And it's the same with colors. The default colors from the free version of Canva have been replaced by my custom color palettes, as you can see. So this will save me a lot of time and ensure consistency across all my projects. And the cool thing is that Canva for work lets you upload more than one color palette. You can actually create as many as you want and give them names. So that is pretty useful if you manage different companies or projects like I do. Just define these color palettes in your brand kit and they will show up here. So to break it down for you, uh, this feature could be very useful if you wish to ensure consistency throughout all your designs. 
It will also help you save time if you use Canva regularly. Indeed, that's the time you would need to set the right colors and font for each new element you create. The next major difference is that you can manage your team and assign roles. Canva for Work not only allows you to add multiple team members, but also to assign them with different roles. There are actually three roles, and this is great to restrict access to certain functionalities for certain members. Let's say you have a new intern, Bob, joining your company for a period of three months. Bob is going to manage your Instagram account during that period, but you don't want to give Bob full access to your Canva account, do you? No, instead what you can do is add Bob to your Canva team and set his role as a member. That way, he won't be able to edit your brand kit, but still be able to use everything he needs to create his documents. Canva for Work also has a Team Stream tab that allows you to see all the design that your team members have created. You can like and comment on each design, which is pretty useful if you want to give your feedback to the creators. Maybe you want them to change a color or a font in their design, or maybe you just spotted a typo in their quote. So here are two interesting features that will definitely give you more flexibility and control over the work your team is doing. Next is that you can download PNGs with transparent background. Now, for me personally, this option alone is worth paying for the Canva for Work upgrade. Let me show you what it does. So here I am in the free version of Canva. And let's say I want to download this icon right here to insert on my website or maybe in my video. I can choose to download it either as a JPEG or a PNG. Now, if I choose PNG, I can see that Canva has that option right here that says transparent background, but it's not available with the free version of Canva. So that's what I'm saying. Now, if you have Canva for work, this option will be available and you will be able to download your visuals in the PNG format without a background. For me, this is gold. This is super useful to create motion graphics for my videos. I use this option all the time for titles, icons, and all sorts of visuals that I want to include in my videos. As a matter of fact, I created this whole Canva course using this technique. So depending on how you intend to use the visuals you create, this feature alone could be a reason to upgrade to Canva for work. Next major difference is that you can use magic resize. Canva for work has another exclusive feature that allows you to magically resize your designs if you want to use them, let's say, across various social media channels. Let me show you how that works with this design right here. Now, this is the Facebook group cover that I created for our group, Learn to Design with Canva. And by the way, guys, if you're not a member of this group yet, I strongly suggest that you pause the video and go join the group. Uh, you will find it by typing facebook.com slash groups slash learn Canva. I encourage you to share the visuals you will create with Canva for this course in that Facebook group so that we, me or the community can give you a feedback. I figured it would be pretty cool to have that kind of supporting community around this course. So anyways, back to our magic resize options here. Let's say you want to create another visual based on this Facebook cover. And the visual you want to create is an Instagram post, which is 800 by 800 pixels. So all you have to do is go to File, Magic Resize, and tick the social media options. And obviously untick the other options you don't want. Then just hit the abracadabra button and Canva will open a new project for you with your original design turned into the desired format. Now, this is really cool. Now, from time to time, you will have to slightly adjust your visuals before downloading them. Like in my case right here, I need to uh, make sure everything is correctly centered. But basically, Canva has done most of the work for me. So this feature could be very useful if your company is running a global marketing campaign across different social media platforms and you need to create consistent visuals to post on all these platforms. Well, the magic resize feature will help you save a ton of time doing that. So that's pretty much it. I've shown you the major differences between the free and paid version of Canva. To make it easier for you to decide whether or not you need Canva for work, I prepared this last slide. Feel free to make a screenshot of it. Feel free to take a photo, anything you want. I pretty much try to sum up the six major differences uh, that Canva for work offers. So number one is accessing thousands of new photos and elements. Number two is creating your own templates and save them. Number three is developing your brand kit. 
Number four is managing your team and assigning roles. Number five, downloading PNGs with transparent background. And number six, using the magic resize feature. Now that you have all this information, it's entirely up to you guys to decide whether or not you want to upgrade.